Turning now to COVID and kids. Today, New York City reopened some schools for in-person learning. There's growing concern that remote learning is not making the grade as a shocking number of children fall behind. We get more now from CBS's Janet Chamlian. Eighth grader Tiago Williams takes all his classes online now. He's gone from an A average to barely passing a few of them. It's kind of hard to pay attention during class when you have to be like in front of a screen 20, like almost the entire day. The 13 year old is part of a troubling trend. Remote learners struggling across the country. It's happening in Florida's Miami Dade, where the number of high schoolers getting an F has more than doubled. Tiago's district in Houston says 42% of students failed at least one class this fall. A normal year is about 11%. So how hard is this to watch well, as a parent, you know, to see this slide? Oh, it's very difficult um, because I know he's capable of more mm -hmm. and I know under the right circumstances he would be fine. The educational slide experts say impacting minority, low income and rural children profoundly widening gaps that existed before the pandemic. So we worry that there, there could be widening inequalities that we're not seeing yet with the data, whether that's because they had technology limitations or because they've just fully disengaged from school. For Coretta Fontenot, it's heartbreaking. You know, it, 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 it's a challenge, it's a battle every day. The failure rate of her 160 high school English students is skyrocketing. Last year, let's say I may have had, you know, maybe four or five kids uh, per class failing. This year, it was probably um, almost half. Another calamity of the pandemic as remote learning misses the mark. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Houston. The risk of a lost generation of students.